welcome to Mahibubaba District Education YouTube channel. My name is Nahila, working as school assistant physical science, JPHS Tegalaveni, Budur Mandal. Today, I am going to discuss about one of our 10th class chapter that is electric current. Before going to discuss this lesson, we need to recall our previous knowledge. So, how can we able to see the objects even after sunset? Yes, with the help of electric bulbs, we can able to see the objects in night times. So, what made them, what made them to glow? Yes, that is electricity. With the help of electricity, not only electric bulbs, home appliances like a fan, uh, televisions, motors, mixer grinders, etc. Uh, with, uh, with the help of electricity only, they work. An invention of electricity made our lives easy and comfortable. So we have to know more about this concept. In previous classes, we learned about electric current. Electric current is a simply a motion of charges. So what is charge? Charge is a property of a particle. Charge is a property of a particle. Generally, charge is two form. Charge is in two forms. That is positive charge and negative charge. Positive charge is carried by protons and negative char charge is carried by electrons and motion of charge is there any evidence of motion of charges in day to day life as we have already learned in 8th class the process called lightening so the lightening is a process in which the discharge of uh, charges takes place in between clouds or in between cloud and earth so these discharge appears to us in the form of a spark so that is called lightning. So to know, um, let us try to know more about this uh, motion of charges. So let us do some activity. So in, in this activity, I have taken a electric bulb, battery, switch and some connecting wires. Connecting wires, that, um, they are copper wires, insulated copper wires to make, to make a simple electric circuit. So let us consider this as a, this as a situation 1. In this situation, we have taken only electric bulb, battery, switch and copper wires as connectors. So, what is the battery here? Battery is a device which can convert the chemical energy into electrical energy. We knew this. Okay. In situation 1, if you switch on the circuit, what will happen? The bulb can be blue. The bulb can be blue. So, in next situation, what we have to do is just remove the battery from the circuit. Remove the battery from the circuit. So, here I, am removing, remo I have removed this battery and make, the, make all the circuit close again. So, does the bulb blow in situation 2? Obviously, the answer is no. Because there is no source of energy in situation 2 in the circuit okay the bulb does not glow in third situation and re i have replaced the copper wires with the nylon wires i have replaced the copper wires with the nylon wires and all the components are same battery battery bulb and switch so when you switch on this circuit does the bulb glow obviously the answer is no because here we have taken nylon wires instead of copper wires nylon is a Synthetic fiber, it cannot allow the electricity to pass through it. So, some material only allow the electricity to pass through them and some, mate uh, some materials do not allow the electricity to pass through them. So, we can, uh, we can define uh, these substances as conductors. So, the conductor means a material which can allow the electricity, current electricity to pass through them are called conductors. Generally, uh, metals, all metals, metals are uh, conductors of electricity. Okay. And the materials which do not allow electricity are called non-conductors or we may call it as insulators generally plastics, rubbers, wooden sticks which we use uh, to avoid electric shocks are called non-conductors or insulators now let us try to define electric current quantitatively in 19th century Laurent and Trude proposed that all the metals uh, all the metals uh, conductors like, like metals have large number of free electrons whereas Positive ions are fixed at their locations. These arrangement of positive ions is known as a lattice. 
So let us try to understand the behavior of free electrons in a lattice space. Here I have drawn a um, some part of a conductor like copper wire here, zoom part of a copper wire here, which is in open circuit. So here this is a copper wire that means it is, it is a conductor it have uh, some positive ions which are fixed at their locations and uh, free electrons move randomly in any direction so let us consider any cross section of this conductor what happened the number of uh, electrons can be passed from right to left and from uh, left to right so in one second the number of electrons, number of free electrons passing from right to left is equal to the number of free electrons passing from left to right. So there is no net charge for this type of conductor which is an open circuit. Now let us connect this uh, copper wire to uh, a bulb and a battery along with a switch. And now switch on the circuit. What will happen? The bulb will glow the bulb will glow. How does this bulb glow? Because uh, this copper wire which we are, which we have taken in this circuit uh, transfer the electric energy which is which is released from this battery. Transfer the electric energy uh, to bulb. How, the, how this copper wire transfer the electric energy when the, conduct, when the ends of the conductor uh, connected to the terminals of the battery what actually happened all the free electrons of conductor have ordered motion ordered motion in a specified direction because it, uh, electric field is applied throughout the circuit so all the electrons have ordered motion in a specified direction so this ordered motion of electrons is called electric current this ordered motion of electrons is called electric current so, an electric current can be defined as the um, number of charges passing through any cross section of a conductor in one second of time is called electric current. So, let us try to write the uh, equation of electric current. So, electric current can be written as electric current is equal to amount of charge that is charge divided by time interval time interval so amount of charge passing through any cross section of uh, conductor in uh, one second of time is called electric current so here electric current is denoted by I and let let us consider Q amount of charge is passing through any cross section of this conductor in T seconds of time Q amount of charge is passing through any cross section of this conductor in t seconds of time. So how can we write this equation? I can be written as charge. Amount of charge is Q divided by time interval is t. Q by t. So I is equal to Q by t is the equation for electric current. Okay. And let us try to write the units of this electric current. Q. What is Q here? Q is a charge. Always Charge is measured measured in coulombs. So coulombs per seconds. Coulombs per seconds. So the uh, units of electric current can be written as coulombs per second. And one coulomb per second is always equal to one ampere. And one coulomb is is, is equal to six point six. 6.625 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. 1 coulomb is equal to 6.625 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. And 1 coulomb per second is always equal to 1 ampere. Here, ampere is a SI unit of electric current. So, this is about current, electric current. And we can measure the electric current in the circuits with a device called a meter with a device called a meter and we, we represent this ammeter in circuit as like this and we measure and we measure the small amount of current in circuits with the help of mini ammeters and the symbol is this so this is about electric current uh, students um, hope this uh, video help you to understand the concept thank you